Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zeno here to bring you my next Let's Play, and today we're going to be playing some Undertale, and I'm super excited for this because Undertale looks like an amazing game, and I cannot wait to get into it, and do not let those minutes fool you. I have not been playing this game for like, f like four hours. I have not been playing it four hours straight, um, so don't be confused by that. <laughs> Anyways, so I haven't done a Let's Play in forever on this channel, so sorry if I'm a little nervous because I, t like, these videos are going to be completely unedited, like, there's not going to be any cuts in it, so yeah. So, all the extra breathing and all that, all the extra noises, they're going to be present, so sorry if you don't like that, but I don't want to do this jump cut thing for a game like Undertale because this is a Let's Play, not a cut commentary, so yeah. So anyways... Uh, let's go ahead and restart our game. So a name has already been chosen, Daniel. Do you want to delete this? Yes. But anyways, um, so I recently picked up this game, and this game looks amazing. I cannot wait to get more into it. And so anyways, we're gonna start off here in this little room. Not too sure what, or whenever I first played this game, I wasn't really sure what was going on. But anyways, so we're gonna walk over here. Oh, and by the way, this is going to be partially blind because I have played this game a little bit. So I've played like, what, maybe 30 minutes of it. I got to snowed in and that's about it. So really, I am still kind of blind about the game. I don't really know much about the story. So yeah. So anyways, howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I really do not know how to pronounce it. Huh. Why, why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Some ought to teach you proper manners. I guess a little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Oh, okay. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. So, yep, uh, this is how the battles work in Undertale. You basically, you're this little heart, and you move around trying to avoid the enemy attacks. So, your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. Or, level, I guess. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I... I alt shifted or alt tabbed my bad. I did not mean to do that. Anyways, so your soul starts off weak but can go strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. <laughs> you want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. And, you know, I'm just not going to say anything. I'm just going to let this happen for those of you that have not played Undertale. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Turns out, he's lying. It, <laughs> you idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? So anyways, yeah, um, it looks like we're gonna die. So, it says, die. <laughs> and, I don't know what to think about Flowey. Uh, something to- Oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't know if you touched- I didn't know what happened if you touched it, honestly. And so then he, you know, gets blown away. And then here is the first person that we meet. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, don't be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come down here in a long time. Come, I'll guide you through the catacombs. So anyways, this girl, Toriel, I'm not even sure if it's girl or guy, I really do not know. But it is the first person that we meet that we can actually trust, or that I think we can actually trust, I'm not sure. To be honest, I have not finished the game yet. So anyways, uh, this is a save point. The shadow of the ruins loom the shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. So yep, we can save over our other save. And I guess it keeps our name. I'm not really sure why. I thought I was gonna be able to change it, but whatever. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. So yeah, basically there is puzzles and yeah, we're gonna be doing them though. You're in the, I cannot even talk. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. And so, yeah, uh, we just move on along here. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Alright, so we're gonna read the sign, and it says, stay on the path, and yeah, we already broke that rule, okay. Press Z to read signs. <laughs> Press Z to read signs. <laughs> Press Z to read signs, okay. I am having minor speech impediment right now for some stupid reason. So anyways, we hit the switch, and we keep going, we hit this switch again, and it unlocks. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Alright. 
Uh, as a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Solve for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Alright, so, basically, I forgot to also mention, hold on a second, let me get my thoughts together before I speak. Okay, so basically what we're gonna be doing in this run of Undertale is we're gonna not kill anything that we see. And so then, after we're done with the run of not killing anything, we're gonna reset our game, and then we're going to kill everything that we see. So, first run through, we're not gonna kill anything. Second run through, we're gonna kill everything. Because I've heard that that has the biggest effect of, like, changing the story. So, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do this you encounter the dummy so this battle system is pretty unique because you can either fight the dummy you can either talk to the dummy you can do your items and you can spare or flee from the battle so um uh tori also to talk to the dummy so let's try and talk to it you talk to the dummy dot 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 it doesn't seem much for conversation so toriel seems happy with you you won you earned zero xp and zero gold ah very good you are very good. Okay. Um, there is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I wonder if I can too. Okay. It's... Okay, so we got a battle. So this is a frog. A frog it attacks you. So basically, whole point, we don't do anything. We do not fight them. We only talk to them or spare them. Because I want to get a good ending first. So we can either compliment or threat or threaten frog it. So I'm going to compliment it because I'm, I'm a nice guy, you know? <laughs> frog it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. And I... Okay, it's, a, it's gone. <laughs> You won. You are in zero XP and zero gold again. So then, we're, let, let's read this sign. The western room is the eastern rooms is the eastern room's blueprint. I cannot talk today. All right. So basically, what that means, just remember this pattern. Okay, you got it. All right. So we're gonna move on. And for the eastern room, you're just gonna go with that same pattern. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Basically, it. It, it's literally the blueprint, uh, like it just said. <laughs> and Toriel's gonna lead us through it, and we're gonna be safe and fine. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Okay, yeah, uh, alright. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I will. I have a difficult request. Request, request. Okay, I have a difficult request of you to uh, to ask of you. Oh my goodness, I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. <laughs> Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise, to test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? So basically, that's just telling us, uh, don't stay here. Just keep going. <laughs> that's basically all it's saying. So, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that, I'm, that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? So then we can just talk to Froggit here. Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. And so basically that's just saying like, yeah, um, uh, hold on a second. Okay, playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Okay, okay, see, I read that fur I, fern. I read that fine. I do not know what is going on today. It's It's been happening for a pretty long time. So anyways, we're just going to keep on moving along. And this time we encounter a whimson. Appro and it approached meekly, so obviously it does not want to fight. So we're going to go ahead and spare it, because it's obviously not going to fight. Well, we're going to spare everything in this Let's Play, but other than that, okay. So, let's just... Alright, so I'm guessing we're going to find out... Oh, no, no, we we're supposed to fall down, that's right. And this time we encounter another Whimsum, so we're just going to go ahead and spare it. Ring, hello, this is Toriel. 
for no particular reason, or for no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, don't tell me. Is it butterscotch? Yeah, I don't like cinnamon. <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely I, I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your si thank you for your selection. <laughs> All right, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? Like, I I know your I know what your prefers. I know what you prefer, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, right. right. Okay, I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way. Okay, so is she done? Or okay. All right, three out of four gray rocks recommend that you recommend recommend that you push them. I do. I've said it enough. I'm just not. I'm just not even gonna acknowledge it anymore. And so now Froggit hop close. So let's go ahead and compliment Froggit. Froggit didn't understand you, but he was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply. And so now we just gotta not follow Flowey's device and uh, device. We can't. We don't follow Flowey's advice. There we go. <laughs> Froggit seems reluctant to, to fight you, so we're just gonna go in spirit because, as as I've said, we do not want to wrongfully kill anything, and we don't want to kill anything actually. All right. So what's in there? Okay. So if I remember properly, I think you go like this, and then you go like that, and then you go like this. And you go like that, and then that, and then that, and then that. Okay, good. I remembered. All right. So I think we just push all these rocks. Okay. Uh, you tripped into a line of mold smalls. I did not encounter this enemy on my first LP or on my first 30-minute playthrough. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and oh, we can spare all of them. Okay. All right. So let's just okay. And then this rock. No, don't get behind them. There we go. <laughs> and this rock. Whoa there, partner. Partner. Oh, well, no, he's kind of like a southern accent. Okay. Whoa there, partner. Who said you can push me around? Hmm? You asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. <laughs> okay, keep going. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? N not what I was... Th no, okay. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Thanks, fam. Uh, you fucking dick. Hmm? You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. <laughs> I, I love the humor of this game. Like, <laughs> this is one of the funniest games I've ever played, honestly. So we're just gonna go ahead and spare all these guys again. And we can save again. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get this cheese. It fills you with determination. And we're gonna save. And yep, we're just gonna no, not again, not again. Okay, there we go. So we're just gonna keep on moving along. And this is a little ghost. Okay. Are they gone yet? This is ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. Move it with force. No. Okay, I guess we have to. That's right. And here is our first, not really boss fight, but it has a different theme. So I guess I I will consider it a boss fight. Well, not really, because it doesn't really threaten you. Anyways, we're just gonna act on it and we're gonna flirt with it. And I accidentally just skipped its text. I did not mean to do that. Wow. <laughs> Napstabluke. Nap. Napstab. Wait, no, it is. It is Napstabluke. Okay, whatever. It's staring into the distance. Okay, let's flirt with it again. I'd just weigh you down. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, so can we cheer it up? You give Napstabluke or Napstabluke? Yeah, Napstabluke. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, he gave you a patient smile. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Oh, I hate these guys. No, they're so... No, no, stop. Okay. Looks just a little bit better. So let's keep cheering at him because it seems like that's what we need to do. So you told Naps to look a little joke. <laughs> and it's still kind of depressed. I don't know why. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, we got... Ooh. All right, cheering seems to have improved Naps to look's mood again. So we're just gonna keep on cheering it up. Wants to show you something. Let me try. Uh, I call it Dapper Bloke. Do you like it? <laughs> I'm sure. Eagerly awaits your response. Um, yes. Oh, gee. <laughs> I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. 
Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. And so with that, we have gotten past our first uh, minor person, I guess. I don't know. So spider bake sale, all proceeds go to real spiders. And yep, th that they basically sell you some stuff. But we're going to go up here, and we're going to read the sign again. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. <laughs> Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Okay, how about no? And that is another frocket. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen, but what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. And, okay, what does this guy say? I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What What do you think of that? Uh, that's, that's helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll even have to do it if you, even if their name isn't yellow. Alright, so I guess that's a little bit of foreshadowing. I really do not know. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting you to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay, so thanks for the advice, Toriel. And... If I remember correctly, I think we fall into the middle hole? Okay, yep, we do. And so we hit that switch, we go back up, and then I think we go into bottom left. And, okay, good, we can spare that guy. But this guy, it... Oh, oh, it just does... Oh, that's cool! <laughs> Megasp doesn't have a care in the world, so let's go ahead and spare him. Alright, that was cool, that was funny. Alright, so... We're going to fall down here again, and we're going to pick this up. You found a faded rib ribbon. Ribbon. I need to take some speech classes, my lord. Alright, so I think it's good to go. Okay, yep, it is. And, okay, same same people. So, spare. <laughs> Just watch him, watch him. It's so cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and spare. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into the next room. And this puzzle, I do not like this puzzle at all. It got me stuck for such a long time. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. And it's already unlocked, so that's great. And, alright, so what does this say? If you can't read this, press the blue switch. And if I remember correctly, it's behind this little pillar. No, we're going to spare. Oh, never mind. No, we're not. Okay, so if I remember correctly, um, we can talk to this guy and he'll give us some dinner. You pat your stomach, and Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens, so yep, it's we basically eat the green ones to regain, to regain health. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing that. You pat your stomach, and Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Heed the swarm, eat your greens. Alright. And get the green shit. Okay, awesome. Oh, we can spare him now. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that spare. And this guy is so funny. Oh my god, I love him. He's so cute. And so now we're just going to spare Megasp too. So if I remember correctly, it's behind this one. Yes. Okay, awesome. It's behind. The blue switch was behind that pillar. Okay. Alright, so now we're just same people again. Spare, spare, spare. And this guy is amazing. I love this guy. <laughs> and spare again. Awesome. So now it says to... If you can read this, press the red switch. So, I think that's the red switch up there. Uh, looks... Please don't do something. I, I skipped over it for some stupid reason. Gnashes its teeth. Okay, so let's not pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Alright, so, like... But I love this game because each monster has, like its own personality, and I, I love that, like, <laughs> it's great. So, yes, press the switch, awesome. And so now, this sign says, if you can read this, press the green switch. So, if I remember correctly, god, I don't want to mess up because I don't, I don't want to, like, do, I don't want to, like, you know, like, <sighs> what's it called? It, like, sends you all the way back into the first room, and it, it's really annoying. So, let's go ahead and eat the greens, because we need some help. And, can we get it? Awesome. Let's go ahead and do it again. And, no, no. Okay, well, we almost died, but that, that was dumb. 
Alright, so let's spare him, and then we're gonna spare this guy right after he is done doing his little dance. And spare. Awesome. So, if I remember I don't know... <laughs> Oh my god, I got it right. That was great. I did not- I completely forgot. Okay, so now I think we are good to go. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. And there's Toriel again. <laughs> How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Who did this to you? You will get a- you will get an apology. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible- it was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er- well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come. Alright. So now we can save again. And yes. Alright. So this is Toriel's house. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought- Oh, Oh, that's nice. I didn't even know she did that. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail- On snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. And so we go over here, and she's going to show us our, this is it, a room of your own. I hope you like it. Man, Toriel is such an awesome character. I love her. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. So we can check out our own room. We can uh, even go to sleep. And she leaves us a slice of cinnamon butterscotch pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Okay, I got it backwards, but whatever. <laughs> and we're just going to take that. And what we need to do is we need to go into this room and talk to Toriel. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a, s a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't actually, or actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. I'm glad to have someone else living here. Oh, did you want something? When can I go home? What? This this is your home now. It's called or here's the new book I had. Alright, I got. It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Let me tell you, it's interesting, is it not? And the right answer is how to exit ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. So basically, that's code for do not stay here. Go downstairs into the conveniently or into the suspicious looking stairwell. So yeah, we got to do that. And we see Toriel just standing here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No thanks, uh, we, we good fam. Nah. <laughs> we leaving. We leaving today. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you not understand? Go to your room. Nah, fam. We good. <laughs> Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. And that's just, you know, we keep going. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. And with that, we fight Toriel. Our first real boss fight. Now, Toriel, I, I feel really bad about it. But we, we gotta leave her. And I, I just hate it because she seems so alone and just it just seems like she wants someone there to like just talk to her. And it's just really depressing. But um anyways, this battle music, I love it. It's amazing. So anyways, we're just gonna uh, not talk to her, but spare her. That is the right decision to do in this battle, just spare over and over again and try to avoid all the attacks. Which is really hard to do because her attacks are pretty good. So anyway, we're just going to keep sparing her over and over again. Excuse me for a second. Alright, so the trick to this attack is just stay where you are. Alright, Toriel prepares a magical attack. So just keep sparing and she keeps doing the silence dots, you know. So yeah, just stay in the middle. Or not, never mind. I just got hit like twice. <laughs> Toriel looks through you. And we got to spare her again and again. 
And now she has a question mark over her face and move and move and move and move and move. Okay, Toriel looks through you again and again. So spare her again. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you just stay in the middle. Got it. Tor Toriel prepares a magical attack. So just keep sparing, attack, or run away. So just stay in the middle again. Oh, never mind, that's not the right solution. Toriel looks through you again. What are you proving this way? And so now all the attacks avoid you. And fight me or leave. So yeah, um, all the attacks avoid you. And it's impossible to be hit at this point because Toriel, obviously she cares about you. And stop it. And so, yeah, that that's the point of this battle, I guess. Toriel still looks through you. Okay, spare her again. Stop looking at me that way. And like, I don't know, like, I don't know, this this just makes me really sad because, like, we, we're gonna have to leave her. And she's been alone for such a long time. Go away. And she just wants someone else there to protect someone to save a life or whatever. Toriel is acting aloof. And so she keeps doing the silence and stuff. And... Spare her again. And she keeps avoiding us while she attacks. I know you want to go home, but... So now we gotta... No, not talk. Uh, we still have to spare. But please, go upstairs now. And nope, we are not doing that. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right it would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear for you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, don't come back. I hope you understand. And with that, she gives us a little goodbye hug because I don't know why. <laughs> goodbye. And so now we just... Yeah, she takes one final look at us and there we go. We have officially gotten out of the ruins and... Well, not yet. We're still in them. <laughs> All right. So, this is a really, really long hallway. I, I don't know what to say, to be honest. <laughs> like, wow, I love the colors of purple that change, and wow, top top ten commentaries. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed, so you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Huh. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration or will you give up on entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch, my plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. God, this this guy, like he freaked me out the first time I played this. To be honest, because first time I played this, I didn't know you. I didn't know you weren't supposed to kill anybody, and um, I he told me like you killed uh blah blah blah, and then he was just like, oh yeah, by the way, you th you think these people don't have families? You think you're the only person with a family? You're so selfish, and you just like did stuff like that. But anyways, this game is about Toby Fox. He made a great game, and I'm very impressed with it. So now we are back out here, and I think I'm just going to cut off the episode here. I'm going to go find a save point, so if we start off in a different spot, that's why. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment telling me what I can improve on and, you know, the usual stuff. And without further ado, my name is Zeno, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Undertale.